Today's check mark is a lackey from the Young Turks. No punchline necessary. So Hassan Piker seems to believe that Thanos from the recent Avengers Infinity War movie is a quote, typical libertarian. Apparently Hassan Piker has only just now seen the movie. Now you guys know I'm a comic book nerd and I actually have a series called Who is Thanos on my YouTube in which I break down the origins of the character. But you don't have to be some sort of comic book geek to know that this assessment is an idiotic assessment of the character. You also don't need anything above a basic understanding of libertarianism. Hassan even tried to explain himself by saying literally collects all the gems he needs to create the perfect future for the universe. Does decides to do genocide instead of solving the problem of scarcity. This bonehead isn't even beyond the tutorial level of libertarianism by saying stupid stuff like this. In Infinity War, Thanos collects the Infinity Stones and in the process causes a massive war. He is seemingly successful and ends up wiping out half of the population. Hassan also states, Thanos saw that scarcity was a problem, acquired the means to fix it in the form of his gauntlet, but instead of fixing scarcity or even redistributing resources, he decided less humans was the only acceptable solution. According to Piker, ruling over billions, war efforts, and wiping out half of the population equals a libertarian because reasons. Bro, <laughs> get up out of my face, but before you get up out of my face, let me put you on game. You seem to not understand scarcity and how libertarians approach it. Scarcity in the libertarian sense will always exist. It's the first law of economics as there will never be enough of everything to satisfy the desires of every single individual. Scarcity is the reason you economize. If there was no scarcity, there would be no reason to even study economics. The fact that we recognize this is why we believe in freedom, which is what leftists like yourself oppose. We recognize that individuals act acting freely and voluntarily are far more better suited to allocate scarce resources, certainly opposed to central planning, which is utterly impossible, no matter what these leftist politicians lead you to believe, or these Marxist leftist economists that think you can rid the world of scarcity, or even worse, they assume that capitalism is the reason why people go without certain resources. Thanos is essentially planning fear-mongering status, so if anything, he aligns with socialists. Libertarians are for free markets and we are against aggression, which is the opposite of Thanos. Folks that think they can be more efficient with other people's money and resources is almost a requirement uh, for them to be a leftist politician. Them along with their adversaries in government get their bootlegging. Keynesian economists that legitimize their positions, forcefully uh, taking people's money through taxation and take control of or heavily regulate entire industries. During this process, because centrally planning is an utter failure, they pile up massive amounts of debt and borrow the assets of the unborn. This is because they again are so arrogant and believe they can wield the power of the government and provide for the people distributing the resources. If you think of the government like the Infinity Gauntlet, Thanos would be either running as a Democrat or some other leftist thinking that he and his camp know what is best for the people. Even among the destruction and deaths, these arrogant leftists seem to always convince themselves that it's for the greater good. See Stalin, Mao, Pol Pot, and the many others. Libertarians either don't want the gauntlet to exist or we seek to destroy it. We believe in the free and voluntary exchange of privately owned goods and services. And the most core property right of them all is the right to self ownership, meaning you own yourself and nobody has the right to use aggression upon you, such as eliminating your entire existence like Thanos. The problem with folks like Piker is that they are given these big platforms to say stupid stuff and they are followed by hordes of other boneheads that believe it. I've always said that every individual on this earth is either ignorant to something, you know, as in they lack the knowledge. Not everybody knows everything, but ignorance crosses over into stupidity. When you have such a loud opinion on something, you know little to nothing about just for the sake of knocking or injecting yourself into an entire conversation. This is why the old saying is nobody knows you're stupid until you open your mouth. I think that applies to you when it comes to libertarianism, Mr. Piker.